fabulous. He's French. He will be speaking from the leadership development pathway. And when I asked him what his perfect date was, it was good food and conversation, nice and simple, but always the best. And with a speech titled, How Do You Lead Yourself? Question mark, please introduce Florian Bay. How do you lead? Madam Toastmasters, fellow members, and most welcome guests. According to Toastmasters International, the way I lead hasn't changed since the last time I took the same test about my leadership style. The same three words came out on the top. Authoritative, pace setting, and innovative. I'm somebody that has a clear vision of the future and wants to get things done ruthlessly, with ruthless efficiencies, and isn't afraid of trying new things. As I mentioned in the previous speech, according to Myers-Briggs, my personality style is ENTJ, the field marshal, a turbulent commander, somebody that can turn chaos into straight alignment. And recently, I even took a DISC personality profile and I came out as DC, dominant and conscientious. conscientious. In other words, very much task oriented and very much somebody that wants to get things done. And I applied this leadership style when I was district director of our, of our district last year, leading our 5,000 members and our 180 clubs. And I did pretty well, like to, uh, I like to think. In fact, the vision I implemented back then of 170, 100 still carries on through this day. People are taking up the mantle of it and talking up. So I did well. But what could I have done better? What could I have done differently, perhaps? A lot of things. I am somebody that is ruthless at getting things done, apparently. But how could have I, what could have I done better? Well, I really could have done better at leading myself. Let's begin with an important skill, leading through time, time management. As some people on this call know, if somebody wants to have a chat with me, I say, please book a calendar on my calendar and here's the link. Off you go. I don't this all around. I have to be in my calendar. Things have to be in my calendar. And I'm ruthless at keeping my calendar. Uh, just as well. In, in the same vein, I kind of like to plan my day ahead and just do, do various, things, uh, various things as well. And I just kind of don't really like to mess around when it comes to time. I don't use Twitter. I don't use Instagram. I don't use mobile game because these things are distracting and a waste of time. In fact, I even pay for a software that spies everything I do on my tablet, my smartphone, and my computer to see how good I am at using my time but I actually don't use this software. I pay for it, but I never look at the statistics, never look at the report. I actually kind of suck at time management, to be quite honest. I, I get distracted easily. I don't get things to get things done. I actually only prepared for this speech about an hour and a half ago when I wanted to do it yesterday. So does the problem lies with self-discipline? I expect discipline of others, but do I, I, I get discipline for myself? By some ways, I, I am very self-disciplined. Three years ago, I started a ritual of only taking cold showers, not a single drop of hot water, just cold water only. And this morning, let me tell you, the water was nice and cold. It almost seemed as if I was showering myself with snow from the outside. It was actually very invigorating in many respects. A year ago, I started the Miracle Morning Ritual. So every morning, I do some reading, I do some writing, and I try to wake up at 7, even on weekends. I don't have a lot of sweeties in my cupboard. I don't have a lot of chocolates. I'm pretty, and I can eat the same boring food every day. So self-discipline, mm, not really. I procrastinate a lot, and sometimes I just wrap myself in this blanket, take the smartphone, and put out YouTube and waste a couple of hours looking at cat videos. 
True story, I found a channel of a lady that has 10 cats and I just love looking at it. Lulu's the cutest cat in, in the lot. And I can just waste time doing that. And earlier today, when preparing this speech, I went on a newspaper website and starting opening a lot of tabs and wasted time and didn't, and didn't just close them down. So self-discipline, I really have a problem with it by the look of it. What about forward planning? My, one of my proudest accomplishments as district director was the fact that I had a whole year planned ahead, all the incentive, almost all the comms, a month before the year started. So really well, superb at forward planning, superb at saying to the team, let's do it, lad, here's the destinations. And by many, in many ways, I did well at planning my own Toastmaster journey because I put my eyes on the prize. I want to be district director. I said it to myself in 2015, and I just worked my way through the rank and got there. But there's a but. Right now, I'm kind of stuck professionally. Do I go full steam ahead with my business? Do I try and go back into the corporate world? Do I do something else altogether? And I've been trying to figure out my next steps for a couple of months now. And just don't really seem to be going anywhere in that respect. So it seems that all the skills that I have in terms of being good at leading others and leading an organization, I'm not actually so good at applying them for myself, which has really been one of my main discoveries of the last few months that was thinking about my own leadership my own leadership journey. I seem to be good at leading others, but not always good at leading myself. And this is a shame because many of, in many respects, the path to becoming a better leader lies in becoming better versions of ourselves, doing really well the things that we're good at doing for others, but also for ourselves. So my question to all of you is, many of you want to become better leaders, but how do you lead? And ask yourself, most importantly, how do you lead yourself? In my case, I've got a bit of a way to go and I'm, and I'm trying to improve on it. But ask you this question, how do you lead yourself? Madam Toastmaster. Thank you.